Yo, Economy Family, BB City, this is the Bavarian Deadpool Batman. Let's talk about the BB verse. Yes, the BB verse. I saw that um, announcement or whatever that was. I know, don't know what it's called. Yesterday from Decon, the walkthrough, or, and I'm excited. I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to tell you what I thought about all the comments on Twitter before the presentation. And then I'm going to tell you what my three biggest things in the Viviverse presentation were that I'm really excited about it and why these things will be a huge catalyst for Vivi and the whole thing. So let's go. Before the presentation, it was funny because there were leaks, filmed video screens and the people with the VR um, glasses and people were criticizing the the look of the Viviverse. And I do not understand why that is. Because I don't care much about how it looks. Because nobody is going to stay just to have something that looks cool. And yes, I get it. It has to be, it has to look adequate or at least the state of not state of the art but the normal baseline what we are used to you can't come in and to do a um, 007 golden eye nintendo graphics on that or you can can't do that what meta did with its presentation it's that's horrible but if you are basically in the range of what is happening now technically you're fine and you don't have to have the high highest end stuff because I'm probably going to use that with my phone if this is possible because or with my PC or my, my MacBook which is not the best so I don't care about that if you want to have something to just to look at which looks great go buy a uh, any game that's coming out right now and you have something and people don't stay because it looks good people stay because it's useful it is fun and serves a certain need and it is interesting and surprising and whatnot and all this is not done by graphics that is basically done in case of the viviverse by the community and these there are three things that i really liked in this presentation and it is not the the i don't know all the normal stuff like you can walk and fly and stuff i do think that it's going to be awesome to fly around the delorean but this gets boring also after a while and the thing that makes all this great is basically the community and they have given the community some tools to connect and to work and to create in the viewers and the i was more the what are the functions of this thing the the, the features how can we connect and what can we do together there and Firstly, that standard, um, you can hang out and video chat and all that. This is great and this will do a lot of, lot of um, baseline stuff that people can stay there. People, some people will use this as spaces and whatnot and this is great. The other thing is that interoperability. They already um, made it open as possible. I talked about it in the last video when they when I said they doing the boring stuff like make it uh, engine agnostic and like accessible as it can get. And with this interoperability, you can bring your other NFTs into the Viviverse. This is awesome because if let's board apes is basically a, a bad example, but any other project that has no um, VV ver metaverse. Let's let's take the poo drops from that poo whale. This is an awesome community. They can bring all the poo NFTs into the VV verse and have poo related 
stuff and meetings and activities there. And they can showcase it there. This is going to bring this community into the VBverse. I think most of the Poo community is already in the VBverse, but this applies to any other um, crypto project. You can bring this the, in the VBverse and have basically a virtual showroom for free because an account in VB doesn't cost anything. You can do that, bring all that stuff in and um, pimp it out and then you can flex with it in VR and AR and all that. And then these people are in VB and naturally they are going to poke around, buy some, whatever. But they are using VB for that. This is an amazing entry point for a lot of communities and a lot of NFT projects and a lot of people. It's a cheap way to display your NFTs in a really cool way. The other thing I really liked, it's the second one, is that you can build it like you want. And this is going to be, actually there are way more things I like it. I'm going to make it five or four. You can build your own stuff. This is also not something that ordinary and exceptional, but it gives the people to build stuff and to create stuff. And um, he said it already, the Waterholics will get early access and beta testing and stuff because they are doing that. And this basically um, is the basis, kind of the basis for, for something like an escape room or something. Or you can build your own art show or whatever. And when they implement um, that you can basically contribute your NFT for a certain time um, and you build together a big collection or build a big, basically, waterholic style vault. And I think this could do a really, really, it could be a, an engaging activity and a lot of people would, would take part in that or go to see that. And um, you have contest, you could have contests with that um, and yeah, it's, I think this is awesome. The third thing I was really, I, it was very brief and it um, went under a bit, but Dan said they have a, a content, you can create content in there. You're, I think it is um, 3D assets or something that you can sell and you can have them minted as an NFT. Basically, you can make a shop for extremely cool, your own branded accessories or your own branded NFTs and sell them in the um, VVverse. I don't know how it is implemented that you can sell that, but the fact that they are um, having this on their roadmap to have user-generated content mintable as NFTs shows me that they are thinking of that. And there will be a lot of opportunities to, to basically generate revenue or build a community through this. If you build your own very freakish, awesome styled accessories or items, basically this is a way to get NFTs on Vivi. So just saying, it's gonna be huge. The fourth thing, this is also awesome, it is that there is a scripting layer above and you can customize everything and basically you can program your own games into the VBverse. And this is going to be a huge thing because there's two sides of it. The developers will get on board to capitalize on the community and on the audience of Vivi and build games and make Basic, build basically the, the VBverse out. This is really, really cool. And you can customize your stuff and make everything your own. And developers will come because Vivi is attached to the big brands and they are acting as the bridge between the IP fandom and the 
companies, the people, the entrepreneurs that want to have access to that, to making games, making experiences, build ex escape rooms or whatever. This is going to be possible in the Viviverse through that layer, I hope. I'm not technically sound, but for me, I'm optimistic that this is going to happen in this way. And the, the basically this whole Viviverse experience is the, the direction it's going, it's interoperability and openness and make it easy and for people to come in and give people options to build something, to create something. And this is also what um, David Yu basically said in the first pitch before they um, went to build this thing that they knew that user-generated content and what users do with all that stuff is going to be a very important part of the whole thing. And that shows in the, in the way the, they were in the way they built the Viviverse and the options that they give the users. So these things are the way more important stuff that I find important for the Viviverse, not how it looks. And the video chat, which is, in my opinion, mandatory. It's the state of the art right now. This is has to be. And the other one is then what's um, separating it from every other thing. I really like the, the stream board. Um, I think the community is going to be going to do a lot of fun stuff with it. And I have some stupid ideas too. So I will see what happens there. But mainly these tools to give the community ways to build the VBverse and build interesting experiences this will be the factor and the stuff that keeps people there and that makes people want to use the vbverse it's not the vbverse and the the technical stuff you don't use twitter because you can't tweet something you use twitter because um, you get infos you can communicate with people sometimes you don't want to <laughs> because it's uh, weird but it's the people that you can access through these tools. And it's the same with the Viviverse. The community is the superpower of Vivi. And they have given the community the tools to build something really great. And I think the community is going to be built something really great. And this is what sets this project apart, the combination of everything. And I'm really excited about I am excited about the timeline, if they are going to um, stick to it and if it's going to happen, I can wait this year and I can't wait to see what, what the community does with that. Really excited about that. So for me, it was a huge blast um, to watch this and I was very happy and there's one thing I forgot in the other video and uh, I wanted to talk about that. The Viviverse is basically for Vivi Freedom Land. With the Viviverse, they can implement stuff that is not really tied 100% to the IP and they are not bound by um, restrictions from the IP. They can do a lot more and a lot more ways to introduce a lot more ways to burn Omi, for example that this is going to be with the community going to be bonkers because there are going to be so many ways to burn on me there are going to be so many great experience that will burn on me and it is going to be easier to burn on me from a compliance standpoint, because it's user to user and whatnot. Imagine if you can um, just uh, pay entry for for your vault, and if the waterholics um, make it that some entry has to pay uh, be paid in Omi 
to see a special vault and this gets burned or part of that gets burned. This stuff will pop out in thousands of places uh, over the years and will burn Omi. Most of them, maybe not that much, but if you multiply it by how many things will be there to burn Omi, it is going to be a substantial amount. And they have the freedom to do that in their own digital space land, whatever. And also the land sales and the branded IPs, it's awesome, but I don't care about that yet. I don't, I think the community. So thank you very much for watching this. If you are still watching this, if not, thank you for clicking on it or whatever. Subscribe because I don't care much about subscribers, but I am generally are thankful for everyone that subscribed because it is an honor for me to have you subscribe to my channel. Thank you, you legend, Deborah out.